Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll be implementing service discovery using Netflix Eureka. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javanews.com. Go to the Spring section. We have here the Spring Cloud section. So uh, we have uh, previously implemented these three parts. The first part was uh, the overview of what is Netflix Eureka and why we should use it. In the second part we had created two modules the employee producer module and the employee consumer module you can go through this tutorial here so uh, uh, the employee producer module would expose JSON data which was consumed by employee consumer module using the rest template in the third uh, part we had implemented service registration using Netflix Eureka so we had implemented the uh, a code to register employee producer code with the Eureka server which we created so we had previously created a Eureka server module and uh, we had registered the employee producer module to it so if we go to the URL localhost colon 8090 we could see that the employee producer module it uh, uh, it was registered to the uh, Eureka server in this tutorial what we will be doing is we'll be using discovery uh, service discovery and we'll be getting the port on which uh, the employee producer module the address of the employee producer module and then we'll be making the rest calls so previously the employee consumer module would directly call the employee producer module but the disadvantage of this was that if suppose tomorrow the location of employee producer it changes then even the code in the employee consumer it needed to be changed but now with uh, service registration and service discovery uh, there will be no tight coupling between these codes we can uh, directly register both the services to Eureka and then uh, using the registry and discovery service we can make the so let's begin with the implementation part go to Eclipse go to the employee consumer module that we created previously and here we'll be adding the dependency spring cloud starter dependency and also the dependency management which is provided by Netflix next we will be modifying the consumer controller client code so previously if we will go to the employee consumer module and we, we could see that uh, here we were uh, using the rest template to consume the employee producer uh, module code but also uh, we had hard coded the URL for uh, for at which the service had been exposed so this HTTP localhost uh, colon 8080 uh, this is where the employee producer module was running so uh, now we will be making use of the uh, service discovery so no hard coding would be there so let's see how this is done so for this we have we will need to auto add discovery client which is provided by spring cloud uh, library and here this is the code we will be uh, getting the get uh, using get instances we will be getting what all instances uh, are uh, registered to the Eureka server so uh, at the Eureka server uh, this uh, this has been registered as employee hyphen producer so we have used this name here so uh, using this we get the instance and then once we get this instance since this is a list we get the zeroth element because we know that only a single uh, service with this name has been registered and then using the service instance we get the URI and we use this as the base URL so copy this part Next in the application dot properties, we'll have to specify the URL of the Eureka server. Uh, 
and also we'll be creating one more dot properties file with the name as bootstrap dot properties this will give the spring application name as employee consumer so we have done with all the changes now we'll start our application so if you can see here uh, that uh, let's stop everything so if you can see here uh, that it has successfully consumed the uh, employee producer code so our uh, service discovery it is working good i uh, hope you have understood this tutorial the source code for this it can be downloaded from here thank you